live to the Nyayo Stadium and talk to home returner and Cecilia Lubanga. We'll be bringing us up to speed with whatever is happening on the ground. Let's cross over live. Rightly said, uh, we are here live at uh, Nyayo National Stadium for this year's Jamhuri Day celebrations. Uh, Kenyans are streaming in, in their numbers, ready to hear what the head of state will be saying. And, but uh, as we can see right now, uh, the event is still moving at a slow pace, perhaps because uh, Kenyans are coming in uh, any time from now. They, um, the ground will be full and the dignitaries will have arrived and the exercise is expected to start at around 10 a.m. when the head of state will have made his way into the stadium to be to begin uh, this exercise officially. Uh, this is uh, the 59th Madaraka Day celebrations. We are celebrating as a nation the day when Kenya uh, uh, obtained its full independence uh, from the British colonizers. And this event comes at the backdrop of uh, heightened uh, prices of food, uh, uh, increase in food prices in the country and a lot of things going uh, on uh, in in terms of politics, uh, guys are actually, uh, we have seen the head of state and the opposition uh, um, going at loggerheads uh, on the various issues concerning the country, including GMOs and what have you. On the ground, I have my colleague Cecilia Lubanga and is joining me live to bring us up to speed and let our viewers know exactly what is happening here as we will wait for the dignitaries to arrive and the head of state to make his way in here so that this uh, event can officially start. Perhaps, Cecilia, come on set and let us know your feel. Uh, how do you find the weather currently? First of all, good morning. Of course, it's a lovely weather. As you can see, the weather, it's, uh, it's full of clouds mm. and, you know, the sun is also out. Of course, Kenyans are expected to stream here in numbers. Having that this is the first Jamuri Day being presided over by uh, one President William Ruto, you know. So much is being expected today in terms of some of the dignitaries will be addressing the forum today. And, of course, uh, running by today's theme in a, uh, that is revolving around technology and innovation, of course, you're expecting so much that will be addressed in terms of, you know, the, what, is, what is the plans, you know, by the Kenyan president in terms of just taking the country to the next level in terms of technology. He's planning to work, you know, um, improve uh, all public services uh, by implementing technology in all public services by 80% by the end of this five years term as the president. So, so much more is being expected here at the grounds. Of course, as uh, we can see, a number of Kenyans have already settled in the security that has been beefed up. There's so much going on, of course, in terms of, you know, just media trying to cover uh, what's happening where. We are seeing some of the teams that will be performing much more later uh, doing their final touches in terms of just rehearsals to ensure that this day becomes a success. But so far, so good for all I can say. Um so much is being expected. I'm so excited. I don't know what's <laughs> lying down for today. But, you know, uh, in terms of just the basics, you know, we're expecting um, over 20,000 Kenyans to be here to fill the stadium. It's not yet full, of course, because the, the event is expected to kick off at, um, at 10 a.m., as you've said. And uh, so, of course, you're also expecting dignitaries uh, who, um, from the specifications of what the president said six days ago, you're expecting people from Google to come and just give um, a clear... Um, plan in terms of, you know, uh, promoting and uh, uh, ensuring that technology takes place or rather it is implemented in the Kenyan system. So, so far, so good. Yes. Uh, um, on matters technology, the president has insisted his um, way of working, where he sees uh, his government, uh, where he sees uh, uh, plans and the opportunities uh, in terms of uh, uh, the hustler, the hustlers uh, on which he has based his manifesto, the common one he says he wants to direct them to the digital space and that's why the theme for today's Jamhuri Day is moving actually innovation into the digital space to allow in majority of the youth who are jobless to come on board and enjoy their jobs when it comes to digital matters. Uh, uh, this event comes like a week to a hundred days of President Will, uh, William Ruto in office. Uh, he had made pre-election promises uh, that he will cover during the a hundred days uh, celebration. Cecilia, we have seen President um, in accordance with his uh, promises. He has launched the Hustler Fund. Exactly. Hustler Fund that has actually accommodated the um, Kenya 
Kenyans at the lowest cadre of economy. And uh, before this, uh, to, uh, we, we, uh, before the day today, yeah, um, we were told more than five million had already received uh, loans on this uh, platform, the Hustler uh, Fund or Mkopo Hustler, if you like it. So, how has the fund revolutionized the lending and the loan spectrum? Of course, the moment the fund was launched, Kenya was so excited because for the first time, people are going to access, you know, fund that is, uh, when it comes to its rates in terms of, you know, you being able to pay back, the rates are a bit low. But of course, the fund has received a lot of mixed reactions from a number of Kenyans, from my interactions with a number of Kenyans. Uh, I've come to realize that you know, some of them feel like the time period that has been allocated for the fund to be returned, it's a very short term period. And also the amount being given for a first time borrower, a number of Kenyans feel that it's still low. So uh, there have been so many concerns that the people who have already, you know, shared their opinions in terms of just, you know, expecting that, of course, so much can be improved in terms of that fund. And of course, we're expecting another fund, you know, called the Startup Fund. Again, this is something again by President Ruto, who is planning to just support every other sector in the economy to ensure that, you know, uh, every Kenyan is able to, you know, depend on themselves and of course um, from this platform as you've said it's just a matter of week before the president concludes his 100 days in office and of course you're expecting what will be there have been some of the highlights and some of the promises that the president had laid down in terms of you know just expectations from kenyans and being able to keep his promises of course aside from the hustler fund we have seen the president try as much as he could to ensure that you know food production has been the biggest crisis in this country of course you have seen kenyans who have died, died because of drought and hunger in the country and of course uh, he tried, you know, uh, subsidizing or rather reducing the cost of fertilizers just to ensure that, you know, Kenyans are able to have, uh, to be able to plant uh, plant crops at an affordable cost. But then again, of course, now the GMO was another discussion that, you know, uh, has created uproar all over social media and just a number of Kenyans and even a number of uh, polit uh, politicians in the country. So, of course, um, there's so much that uh, the president has to work around. Yes. You know, he, he needs to just work around the clock to ensure that, you know, by the end of his first years, uh, first five years in uh, in office, he'll be able to have um, completed or rather implemented a number of some of the promises that he has laid down from, you know, just his manifesto, the summer that was outlisted in that manifesto. And of course, Kenyans are expecting so much from the first time president. Kenyans are expecting so much much from the first time president remember he promised to lower the prices of food uh, products and uh, petroleum products but we have seen him go against that uh, route and he has said instead of lowering the prices now he will invest more into the pro, uh, fertilizer subsidy to ensure farmers who are planting during this short uh, rain season are equipped with the right input to be able to produce enough food Food. Uh, maybe uh, he has projected in the next one year that's when uh, prices of uh, basic commodities like food, unga and petroleum will come down. But we have seen President, instead of reducing the petroleum products, he's actually removed the subsidy on the petroleum product, uh, thereby allowing the um, prices per litre of petrol increase by more than 20 shillings for the first time in the history of the nation. And the, uh, the head of state has defended this move and said it is necessary to kill the cartels into the petroleum industry, the oil industry. So we, it's um, still early in his uh, leadership, but we are hoping um, his move will actually reduce uh, prices in the is suffering. Um, another thing uh, the president uh, talked about is affordable housing. We've launched, uh, we have seen him launch um, a groundbreaking uh, ceremony in um, Kibra and Mavoko, uh, Machakos County, just uh, to initiate the process of uh, building up affordable houses for Kenyans. Um, we've seen a president who is working. I don't remember him resting even a single day. The president has been up and down uh, from here, from there, internationally, here back at home, the president is a busy man. He's moving, he's making things move. So we are hoping because of his energy into office, he's going actually to um, achieve uh, most of his uh, manifestos uh, that he launched before he was actually given the money to lead the country as the president. Um, today, what do you think will form the basic of uh, President William Ruto's uh, um, Jamhuri Day address. 
Of course, first of all, we do understand that this uh, government inherited a dilapidated economy, uh, whereby you know um, the high, the cost of living has taken the upward trajectory, and of course, you know Kenyans are you know left, right, and centre. Even in security, uh, you know, has been an issue here, especially in Nairobi County. So, of course, um, you know, just running by the theme, you know, um, implementing technology in the country. That's one of the top speeches that we expected from the president. Just a breakdown of what um, what is his plans in terms of improving various service sectors in the economy or in the government in terms of just, you know, to ensure that at least uh, uh, we're not having matters dragging whenever someone just goes to access a specific service in whichever kind of office in the government. But then again, of course, this will go an extra mile to, to, to improve sectors such as, you know, we have seen uh, situations whereby uh, cases dragging in court because of, you know, a slow process. And of course, you have seen the, the president trying to work hand in hand uh, with the judiciary just to ensure that, you know, such cases are resolved uh, because of um, when the moment they implemented uh, small courts <laughs> just to ensure that you know these cases are resolved but then again of course if I'm just to touch on matters to do with the courts and cases we have seen a number of cases that have been dropped in court integrity are uh, matters to do with integrity in this country we have seen now uh, so many cases that have been dropped in court so of course that's again one concern that we are, we are concerned about today are we expecting the president to be able to clearly outline like what's happening you know the number of uh, political leaders who are initially they had uh, court cases you know but now they've been dropped in the they're now free of such cases yes. and you know now this is a country that has been suffering and has been uh, grappling um, with the corruption you know uh, and of course we are, we are decrying the high cost of living right now because of the corruption cases in the country so what is the plan for this government in just countering that so that in the next at least five years of this time in government we see a difference in the sense that a Kenyan can be able to afford basic food basic housing and you know just basic um, needs to be able to just survive in the Day to day lives. So, so much is being expected. We can't really specify uh, where you'll be basing uh, his speech, but of course, top of all this discussions or presentation or his speech today, it's about technology. Yes, and Cecilia, um, we are expecting politics. Of course, in Kenya, every day is political in nature. Um, President uh, and the opposition are trying to pull in their own sides. And uh, we have seen uh, the opposition leader not giving the presidency um, an easy ride in office. Uh, they have come at loggerheads when it comes to matters like GMO, uh, the vetting of the four IABC commissioners that went against the commission's chair, Wafula Chebukati, in declaring president William Ruto as president of the Republic of Kenya. Now we, are, we have seen opposition. Already President uh, William Ruto has proposed constitutional change. We have seen opposition are up in arms. They are saying no, we will not allow any um, uh, constitution change uh, through the parliamentary route. We want any uh, amendments to the constitution should be subjected uh, to the common Kenyan uh, through a referendum. And uh, we are expecting a tussle there in between. So today, as the President uh, William Ruto will be making his speech, we'll be looking with a keen eye on the politics of the day. What will be his response to the opposition's uh, uh, demands? Because opposition through uh, Right Honorable uh, Raila Odinga, the Azimio wing, um, has insisted, has come out with their own uh, constitutional amendments proposals. And now the president has his own proposals to change the constitution. So, so we don't know where will be the common ground in all this, but we are expecting President William Ruto to mention this and give us a direct uh, clear way forward on how he intends to navigate this political scene. That's what we are expecting in terms of politics, and uh, today is a very eventful day. If my cameraman can, uh, can just pan around to allow our viewers to see what is happening currently, there is entertainment on the ground. Uh, this is um, the ladies are from uh, Nyeri who are here to entertain the head of state. They are coming numbers. You can see they are donned in yellow, ready to uh, take over the entertainment scene.
Yes, yes, yes. And of course, as if the camera person can just continue panning, we have seen the podium is already almost full. I'm sure by 10 a.m. I will be uh, speaking of moments of crowd. Of course, we are having students who are representing and just carrying um, the Kenyan flag or rather dressed up in the Kenyan flag uh, on the other side. And of course, it's just an exciting day. The cloud, the, 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 the sun is up, the clouds are high. So we are just expecting so much more. So of course, you're having various teams that uh, will be entertaining us much more later the moment the president arrives but uh, for now they're just doing final touches uh, just to polish their performances so so far so good all i can say is that all systems go we are ready right yeah we, we are ready we are ready and the uh, weather is calm on us uh we seeing uh, sunlight uh, so this uh, promises to be a very 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 beautiful day uh, currently what is ongoing is uh, the entertainment scene uh, the, uh, just in, the, in readiness uh, for the coming in of dignitaries and uh, uh, whenever the dignitaries have arrived as you can see behind me the empty on the official podium are still empty but any time from now before we hit 10 a.m. when this event is officially starting we are hoping these seats will have been covered by dignitaries invited guests who have would have taken the up space to listen to the head of state as we uh, await the presidential speech on this uh, space Special uh, Jamhuri Day celebrations. This is the first Jamhuri uh, celebrations under the leadership of President William Ruto. He's come in, he's very energetic, he's uh, well articulate in terms of what he wants to achieve. So we are listening to him to find out what he will be uh, saying in terms of uh, the, uh, today's um, event and the direction the country is to take in the next few years. Uh, I take you back to uh, as a Simba and Amwai back in studio uh, from us now. We are keeping tabs on what is happening and we'll keep informing our viewers of what will be happening here on the ground. Back to you Simba and Amwai to keep on uh, informing our viewers. That is uh, 